Okay, and we are back. That was the Verve. And... Ooh, patriotic music. This is Thorn with the game design. Like, it's kind of hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. I am playing some Fallout. Some Fallout New Vegas with uh, Fallout 3 shoehorned in via a mod. There we go. Turn that shit off, dude. I don't need to hear y'all's crap. Uh, nope, none of that. Hard. Damn. Ain't getting into that anytime soon. What's this? Easy? Ain't getting into that anytime soon either. Suck. has a friggin' ant, like, right in the friggin' whatever of it. Must not be this one. Oh, these guys had a generator. That's nice. Oh, and a pistol. Weapon repair kit. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I will use that one right away. Guns and bullets. Garbage, 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 garbage. Wait. How's that thing still functioning? Uh, detergent, the brax. Oh no, I didn't want the can, but oh well. Oh. Take all that. Scotch, a little bit of whiskey. Not bad, not bad. Not that I ever use that shit. Hmm. Oh, that's not bad. Gotta love fashion shopping out of a Fallout mailbox. Oh my god. Look at that guy. Oh, here's another one. And another one. Oh my god. There's Dad. Dad's dead. Uh, I'll take both of those. Not that I need the teddy bear, but... Oh, the shot key. Okay, so what else we got in here? Oh, some 9mm rounds. That'll be good. I'm glad we took the uh, I-5-6, because had some extra rounds laying around here. Poor dad. Poor dad's dead. I'll take that pilot light. What else we got? Oh, a bunch of food. Now, I didn't Billy grab some of that before he went into the stupid uh, people... Like meter, people o meter. Uh, oh. Anything in here? No, just a toilet. Mm -hmm. Two. Nah, I think I already got a few cameras. I should be good on that. Do, 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 do. Hmm, take both of those. What are you hiding, little man? Anything? I guess that's Billy's bed. Or else it would let me sleep on it, I'm, I'm guessing. I'll leave it up to him to clean up the ants.
boink. Oh, another metro ticket. Those are always useful. Hot plate. Uh, wrench, turpentine. I'll take that wrench, what the hell. That looks like they had a robot. Nice, a doctor's bag. Well, can't hack anything, so. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. Oh. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formicidae. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note Noise. to self. Destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Does that mean I can get into it now? Oh, yes. Let's see. Match A27, complete failure. Return to original formula. I must introduce a new formula soon or I may not be alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. I found the perfect specimen for my experiments inside Marigold Station. Let's see. Dangers. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. Freaking scientists, dude. Always messing around with nature. Well, I guess let's go to Marigold then. We now have a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. We just need to find what? someone with the skills and willingness to perform the surgery. If anyone knows of a discreet and trustworthy surgeon who knows how to keep his mouth shut, send him our way. Uh. Also, we need to find a circuit neuralizer to reroute the signal into the android's memory. Do you know any trustworthy techies? I also need to uh, talk to the doc in Megaton, see if he knows anything about it. Oh, wait a second, we'll go back here. Um, out of this world. No, 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 no. Those, there we go. Why did it change my, uh... Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there we go, Marigold Station. Let's head that way. friend saw me though. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, I guess he saw me now. Against them. Not like I'm gonna get much better than three rounds, huh? Another one. Oh, come on. Yeah. This thing just has horrible grouping. It's just like so much easier to get close to them and then boink. bit of triple tap. I guess I should just wait until they get closer. 
Like tap them once, wait until they get really close, and then just pop them. Mm -hmm. Definitely not a long-ranged weapon, that's for sure. I haven't even tried the 32 yet. Oh, what's that? Come on. Are you kidding me? Where are you going? There we go. station. That would be a good time to quick save my game. rumbles. Oh, didn't see you, Bubba. Oh, jeez. You kidding me? I think they're through here, right? Oh, that's a fucking soldier. I ain't touching that. Finance clipboards everywhere. Like back cigarettes, though. Never know when you can use a smoke. Oh. Ammo box. Oh, yeah. I remember properly. That's how I handled these assholes last. Uh, my first playthrough was to mine the shit out of them. on the rad scorpions in that one place. Seems like it'd work a lot better than uh, my normal weapons. What do we got over here? Oh, no. No. Take all that, though. Um, I wonder if those pack of cigarettes are really worth anything. Oh, take all that. Oh, nice. Should fuel back up my 10 milli. That's right, so I could have just came down there, but instead, I took the shortcut.
Ooh, 44 mag rounds. And a 44 mag. Oh, nice. That's fucking pimp. Oh, God damn it. I wanna be your sledgehammer. Hmm. Was it this way? I think it was this way. Hey, Ant, how's it going? A fucking soldier, dude. Is somebody flushing a toilet? Oh shit, that's a warrior. Shit, that took almost a whole clip. Must mean I'm going in the right direction. Is that a door? What's this over here? Another door. So which way? That's the question. That looks like it keeps going where we want to go, so let's check out this one here. See what's behind uh, this door number one. Yep, storage. Noise. Cherry bomb. Oh, nice whole stack of them, and a pipe, lead pipe. Anything else? I'll take those. Even though they're kind of heavy. safe key. Oh shit. That's um the house upstairs, right? I need to remember to go back by there and get that safe. Something's crawling up here. this 9 milli does. Oh, come on. Hmm, not great. Oh, not great at all. Hey, Talion Death. It is morning already. Though I wouldn't know, I've been up all night. I don't know if I like this, uh, 9mm. You'd think a 9mm would be at least a decent round, you know? Like, I'm not saying it'd be comparable to a, to a 10mm, but... I mean, a 10mm is a big round. It's like a 45, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I've been up since like 1 o'clock, man. Freaking insomnia is killing me. I can't sleep more than like a few hours without waking up, like, jarringly, before I can't get back to sleep, so. And I decided since I'm up early, I might as well drink me some coffee and play me some Fallout. And I am exploring, uh, 
God damn sewers, dude. I hope everything's going okay with you, man. Oh, six. Again, you never know when you might want to smoke. Oh, jeez. You sound like how I used to be. Especially when I had to work a daytime job. I was always going to bed at, like, way too late. Then I'd go to work and then come home and, like, crash for a few hours and then recycle wood repeat. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I still have, um, Beyond Good and Evil today. I'm supposed to stream it at noon, but, I mean, I took yesterday off and didn't... Well, I mean, I streamed in the, streamed in the morning. I streamed some more Fallout. But I didn't stream the Bard's Tale that I should have. Oh. Till you startled me. I startled you really him. Mustn't creep up on people like that. Okay. Uh, didn't expect to bump anyone into anyone alive here. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Um, Do except for the like man-eating ants. In a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area. So this is Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands. It's a mod for Fallout New Vegas. And it essentially takes and ports the entire Fallout 3 area into Fallout New Vegas. So you can travel between them seamlessly. So when you start out, it gives you a choice of whether you want to do the startup in New Vegas or if you want to start up in Fallout 3. I started out in D.C., um, I'm currently operating out of Megaton, and all I need to do is find the train, and it'll take me to New Vegas. But I'm still doing the um, I'm still doing the quests here, so we'll see how that goes. Experiments? What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist. How marvelous! My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. Uh. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? You made them breathe fire, Bubba. Um, let's see. Yeah, I know. Uh, I already got done with my coffee. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like Fallout 3 in the Fallout New Vegas engine, which gives you a little bit of uh, accommodation, which is kind of awesome. Slow it down, Doc. Let me see. Well, you start with a generation of very large ants. You simply inject okay. the current brood's eggs with an engineered mutagen. Then the next generation should be smaller. Do it enough times, and you may be able to reduce them back to Dude, their once original Dude, they're breathing fire. Size. Uh, what went wrong? Well, I'm afraid I made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I okay. call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability <laughs> to emit flame from their bodies. Pyrosis. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. Um, so eliminate the remaining ants? I'm afraid it's not that simple. The mutagen has already been injected into the Ant Queen. She has enough in her body to last for years. Fair. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. Okay, well, why do you need me? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Gotcha. Uh, why not just kill the queen? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Friggin Your eggheads. objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. Um, okay. Well, how is it going to undo the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Cool. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. Noise. So, that's all there is to it. What do you say? Um, sure. You will? How marvelous. 
Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Meh. I got guns. Um. What do you know about Brian Wilkes? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. Um, can't you take responsibility for his dad's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. You're a dick. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Oh, jeez. Um, you could have at least told him you were alive. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. Must have I been, have no been time fun to do that, boys. Petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? Um, okay. I'm yes. gone. Um... What else can you tell me well, about them? The mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. Yeah, I figured that They're one out. quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. Okay. Anything special to hurt them? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Garden just variety aim for their giant ant. If you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. Um, okay. Yes. Let's let's get out of here then. I'll go. Finally, a chance to recant my mistake. How marvelous! Marvelous. Okay, so um I go through here. I can't remember how to get there. I will take his ammo box, though. Oh. 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 Ooh, he has some cram. And some pork and beans. Oh, I will take his 10 milli, too. Screw this guy. Um. Actually, a lot of this stuff is perfectly stealable. That's nice. Oh, no, I'll take all that. Hell, hell yeah, dude. Um, how about your med kit stuff? Yeah, that's mine now. I'll take these ten millies. I'll leave the fire ant meat with you. Okay, what's in here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Um... Probably should get rid of this 9 milli. It's probably not going to do shit against these ants. Oh yeah, here we go. Boink! Mushrooms? I can trip balls! Hey, where's my night vision? Come on! Did he go? Here he comes. Um, aim for the antennae. Well, wow, that's a 50% chance of hitting there. That's not gonna work. Why don't I just shoot him in the head? Now oh, this gun sucks, dude. Chinese pistol. Need a better 9 milli.
guess that is a break. So let's go ahead and take a short break. Uh, my name is Thorne. This is the Game Design Lexicon. We are playing some Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands, which is Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, all in the Fallout New Vegas engine. And I'll be back after the, I stretch my bones in this short break with, uh, what's today's music? The Verve. <laughs> 